What can you just say about that last stop, those, those last eight seconds? Yeah, uh, I think it was it typifies kind of what we did in the second half. I think we were pretty impressive on the defensive end, and that really gave us a chance to win tonight. Uh, we weren't as locked in as we needed to be in the first half. Uh, talked about it at halftime, able to watch some things, and I thought our attention to detail was much better in the second half. Got rewarded for it. Um, even in overtime, you know, to, to get stops and uh, do it at crucial times, uh, our, our group really grew and grew together tonight. What particularly changed? You said that the attention to the detail was different from the first half to the second. What particularly changed that allowed you guys to have such a high-performing third quarter? Yeah, we were just, um, I'm going to say we were all over the place. So whether it was we were giving up offensive rebounds, we were turning the basketball over, uh, we weren't detailing how we wanted to guard Edwards. Uh, so I think we settled down a little bit. It. And uh, good thing we had a lot of juice tonight, uh, so I think we got rewarded for that and and uh, used all that juice up. And you mentioned before about how Spencer raises the bar yeah. when it comes to his basketball IQ. What did you see from him from the ability to balance when to attack and also to create, particularly in overtime with that big, those two uh, big threes? Yeah, I, I think uh, first of all you look at his assist to turnover ratio, 11 to one. So I think that's impressive to have the basketball in his hands and to get shots for himself. And and other guys uh, at the right time. Uh, again, for our group, uh, I'm going to say we are a young group, I guess. Uh, for us to be able to manage the game, uh, a lot of that goes on the, the back of Spencer and the ability to get guys in the right spots, for us to take advantage of, of matchups, in which we did down the stretch. Uh, and then he created shots for himself and others. You talked before about when you go small. You know, sometimes there's, when you're not, there's a danger of yeah. relying on Nick to do everything yeah. for you. Um, what does this say about the team's growth defensively that Nick yeah. fouls out, he's out of the game, and you're dealing with a center and a team like this for you guys to be able to come out and get stops when you need them? All those days, Brian, of playing small came back to give us a little love tonight. And uh, you take Dorian uh, Finney-Smith's shot in the corner. You know, Rudy Gobert is guarding him. Uh, Spencer's able to drive the basketball, suck in Rudy, uh, corner tray ball. So able to use some matchups to our advantage. That's what we've been preaching, the versatility of being able to play small and big uh, and be in position tonight where we use all six of Nick's fouls, uh, but we don't bat an eye. We uh, put another guy out there who steps in and makes plays. Jock, you guys came in tonight. I think the past four games, you're number one in the league in defensive rating. And then you look at tonight, five all five stars in double figures, you know, seven guys total, McCallum Spencer leading the way. I mean, is this kind of a microcosm of what you guys envisioned after trading Kevin and Kyrie just based on the defense? versatility, the different balance scoring, et cetera? Yes, it's been interesting to see like the, you know, the metamorphosis of this group kind of thing. We, at the beginning, thought, okay, how are we going to score? We can't play iso ball like we did previously in the past. Are we going to be able to have multiple people who can handle the basketball and, and have multiple double, double scores? been able to produce uh, and score enough. And then we struggled on the defensive end. And so then we had to challenge that group to shift the mentality of not thinking you have to score, but uh, first of all, let's be a defensive-oriented team. I think we've responded, started to form an identity with this group, and uh, hopefully they realize that. Were you talking earlier how Royce is kind of like Bruce Brown with the Swiss Army knife type thing this year, just 15 rebounds, 12 points, yeah. and the three to break the tie. Yeah. Just he had to chase down to prevent a fast break. Is there anything he didn't do tonight or did tonight that you weren't? Impressive, man, and and uh, it um, it's, it's really I hope our young guys get to see this. You, you know, having dudes in the locker room that you can look up to to see how they work, to see how he takes care of his body, to produce. Um, it's, it's just impressive, and uh, we talked about it a little bit before the game. He's done everything for us. The rebounds tonight, he guarded Rudy in the post. He spaced the floor for us. He handled in pick and roll. Um, he did about everything, and um, you got to give him love for, for all of it. You just talked about Nick using all six fouls. I mean, they're a long team. That was the length kind of gave you guys problems with the turnovers. Was there any thought, given how you, you, know, you went to Dorian and played small, when you'd get in foul trouble of, of using New Orleans or day one, just given the length they have and some of the trouble with the rebounding too? Yeah, the thing was I was pretty committed to going small tonight and uh, because of trying to get Rudy away from the rim. We saw how in Milwaukee, Brooke was able to impact the game because of you know nine blocks at the rim. Rudy has the ability to do the same. Uh, so we really wanted to spread the floor, and, and uh, if they wanted to post Rudy up for the rest, remainder the game, we would find a solution for that. Uh, but we wanted space for our guys to score the ball.
we've seen this before when you call an early timeout, 90 seconds in when they took that six to nothing lead. What was your message to the team at that moment? And what were you seeing those first 90 seconds? I just think we weren't prepared as we needed to be. Uh, each possession we're talking about uh, taking advantage of, and we just had we had seven turnovers, at, at, you know, in the first half, which was way too many on the road. Uh, we talked about this team produces turnovers, so we had to make simple plays, and we didn't early, so uh, we paid that price for it. Um, I don't know, Megan. This great. This beer is going to be great. I don't know, in another month or a month and a half. I'm not sure, but it's getting there. Good thing already balled. I know. Like, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, God. I'm gonna sit here for a bit. I thought you said the beer was gonna be great. I thought you'd take it. That's what I thought. I thought you'd take it up. I, I offered him your beer. Yeah. Oh man, I might take you up on that one.